Hello everybody and welcome back to Felsbrunn. So, what we're going to do today is a few odd jobs. We do have Worker B, currently working in field number 25, uh, which is our canola field. And we have some wheat, which needs to be taken over to either the cell point or the chickens. Uh, probably the chickens, actually. Yep, they can definitely take some. So, hopefully, if they take it all. If they don't, I'll have to just tip the rest in the pile. Because uh, it really isn't worth going to a cell point with what will probably be about 50 litres. Oh, and they have some spilt grain here too. Let's get the scoops up. Whoa, 3,000. No, that must be adding on to the uh, trailer's capacity, I assume. Yes. They do spill quite a bit. Oh no, big mistake. I shouldn't have detached that. Uh... Yes, anyway, there we go. So for those of you who want to uh, watch the, the roleplay series, the survival roleplay, uh, to be honest, I'm not really up to making that series at the moment. I've not been too well, and it does take a lot of time and dedication, which I just can't really put into it, and I'd prefer to just wait and make a decent video instead of just trying to uh, produce a video uh, just for the sake of it and doing a really bad job, because I really don't want to ruin that series, and I think if I'm not in the mood to do it, which I'm certainly not, uh, it, would not be, it would not be a wise move. So just doing this casual let's play today is definitely the way forward. Okay, so if I can just reverse back around here, there we go. I'll attempt to unload as much as possible in the feed trough just here. Is it set to the left side? It is, good. Please take it all. Okay, just take a tiny bit. Uh, that's kind of annoying. Uh, in that case, I can just tip it in a barn. I think the best thing to do is to, well, maybe clear out the seed, which is in this shed at the end, and then tip this in its place, possibly. We'll see how we go. But we do need to get over to the combine fairly quickly, because it is busy working. It is canola though, so yeah, it's not going to fill up too quickly. We do have some grass in here. That needs to be either sold or disposed of. And then we have the seed just here in front of the sprayer and what I need to do is put it into the seed drill whoa that is heavy um, so I suppose the best thing to do is to bring that round although I could possibly fill this up from here ah no that's probably not a good idea right okay so we'll open up the cover is that full? it pretty much is but I think the amount that we have here is minimal uh, so the rest of it could go into the weeder which does have a seed hopper in it. Um, failing that, we could just keep it in the bucket. It doesn't really bother me at all. Although, yeah, we've picked up uh, 286 litres, which is way more than what that can hold. We'll see how we go. Yeah, still plenty in there. Well, I think to save messing around, we'll keep it in the bucket just temporarily. It's such a tiny amount. And we'll tip this and go over to the combine, which is actually very close to full. Okay. So there it goes. Just tipping it in there. Not an ideal situation, but it will do. Right, to the combine. I have actually taken off the bucket and put the bell spike on, just so we're not transporting the seed around. Uh, I didn't really need to have anything on, but the, yeah, the bell spike was in the way. So I'm hoping to get quite a bit of money from the canola. Typically, it was on the wrong side, so I'll just reverse back so we can put it into the trailer without destroying too much of the crop. And there we go. Right, so we now can keep up with it, which is uh, obviously going to be much more helpful. Not having the worker just sat there. Uh, but at the same time, I'd like to get on with some other jobs as well. Now, we do have fill number 20, which is currently growing over at the farm. I don't know the current situation with that. It's obviously growing, but I don't know how well fertilised it is. Uh, so if I just take a look here, we'll see how it's doing. Uh, right, so it needs to be weeded, apparently. And the fertilising is pretty bad. Um, yes, I know why, actually. I did a live stream in this field over here. And then that grew, as I did uh, some other videos. And because I haven't really been feeling up to it, I, I've obviously over overlooked this, and it's not looking too good. Uh, so, <laughs> luckily, this is the final crop to be in here. It's going to be grass next, so we don't really have to focus on it too much anyway. It's funny though, I wonder if it's something to do with the update, because I can't see any weeds actually growing through the crop. 
Hmm. Interesting. And I'm sure I... Oh, hang on, there's weed here. Nothing fully grown, though. I did think that it would show through. Did I just not fertilise it? I'm sure I did do. Maybe not. Anyway, back over here at the farm, uh, we have the gator which is just parked up. It needs to be repositioned. And we have, well, three boxes just there. Let's park it here. We can start to load them in. Now, like I said before, it might be that one of these isn't that full at all. But I want to just keep it clear. And it's another job to do. We do need the money, so I might actually go and sell these anyway. Could be a, a very good thing to do. Okay, so let's put the tailgate up, put a strap on that so it doesn't go flying. And for some reason the worker has stopped. Ah, <laughs> the tractor is in the way. Let's continue. Over to the egg sell point. The train station mill is currently the best price for eggs, so that's where we're going to go to, although very close behind is Grain Elevator East. Yeah, it's so nice to have the Gator, just a great vehicle to get around in, and of course we can transport things in the back. Not just eggs, you can also transport seed and all sorts, different pallets and stuff. But of course by now you probably know that. And yeah, you can actually buy it on the giant store. In the giant store, it used to be just a collector's edition only thing, but now you can actually buy it, so you don't have to spend uh, £40 on the collector's edition just to get it. Um, right, so, the sell point is somewhere in here. Just around the corner. I feel like I've gone a very long way around here. But this should be quite good. I'm assuming we do put it here. Yep. So that was 989 and 526. I do think the chickens are really worth it. The figures might not seem too high, but after all, they are only eggs. And it's only from a day or so. That's a pretty good wage. Yeah, so hopefully very soon I will have the survival roleplay returning. Um, but obviously I can't put a date on it. I know a lot of other people have been ill as well. It's the time of year. Um, I'm not going to go into detail as to what is wrong, but it's it's not like a common cold. It's something a little bit more serious. So, um, yeah, hopefully, fairly soon, I'll be able to get back into video making properly and, of course, do uh, some survival roleplay. Right, so this is a good place to uh, take the tractor over to the combine. And this piece we see at the bottom here, I'll do that myself because otherwise it would just be a load of messing around with the combine and the worker. I don't know how full it is. Oh yeah, by the way, if you do have the Stuart trailer by Blur Modding, uh, apparently any problems with the collisions are going to be sorted at some point in the future. So yeah, no point uh, worrying about that, it's going to be done just when the time is made available. I believe that Blur Modding is actually very busy uh, with real life stuff, so yeah, just best have a bit of patience. I think quite a lot of people have been saying stuff about it, so uh, yeah, it will come in good time. Now, while we're doing this, I suppose we could actually start another job, because it's a really good way of making some extra money. Um, I'm not going to do anything really slow. Whoa, look, John Deere. That could be fun. Uh, and obviously our combine is taken up, so if we take this, we'll borrow the items. It says borrow instead of lease, uh, so that's changed. And also, the machines do have hours on them already, 43.2 hours. This is really a John Deere setup. So field 27, obviously if we did this with our own combine, we would make quite a bit more money, but it's busy. Uh, field 27 is quite close to film 25, so we can still go over to film 25 and unload it. Okay, right, let's just put that onto there. And we will take the tractor in a minute or two. Hmm, <laughs> I think that header trailer might be a bit too small. I guess I could have put it a bit further back, but I can't attach to it. So, yes, the tractor can uh, bring the header trailer. I think if I was buying that myself, I would have probably put it on the larger header trailer. But, yeah, just needs to be repositioned, I suppose. Here we are in the 6M, which looks like an older style John Deere from the back. 
And from the side, it looks like a modern John Deere. Right, so I really don't think this is going to take too long. It's a pretty big combine in a fairly small field. Uh, in fact, field number 27, which is the field we're working in, is a field which I have cultivated before. And this is obviously a way wider working width than the cultivator. And it didn't take too long with the cultivator, so with the combine it's going to take probably about 5 to 10 minutes. And there we go. Good. We'll take the tractor back in a minute. May have been a mistake putting it on a higher ground. Yeah, it seems to be alright. Sometimes the header can get stuck to the trailer. And we'll unfold. Has anybody tried to bail straw from another field? I'm guessing it just says something like you don't own this field or this is reserved for contract work. I'm assuming it will say it doesn't own the field. Um, yeah, that could <laughs> that'd be quite funny if you could actually take the, the straw from another field. I think it will have been thought of and you won't be able to do that. We will head off and grab the trailer. I quite like the 6M, although it does seem to idle for quite a while when you first accelerate, but yeah, nice tractor. Here we go. I think the idling might have been adjusted, actually. Yes, it has. That must have been the latest patch. Because before, you used to be able to accelerate and get up to about 5 or 10 miles per hour before the idle sound uh, changed. And now it seems to do it almost straight away. So that is a big improvement. Now I wonder how our tractor is doing. What's going on here? Our combine, I should say. Uh, still fine. That's good. Almost finished. The traffic seems to be confusing things. But anyway, I can jump into the uh, John Deere. Into the combine. No point having a worker doing this. So just because it was on a worker, it stopped the traffic. How interesting. Okay, now back into our combine, and I think we're pretty much there, because we've just got the tiny bit at the bottom, and of course we mustn't miss any of this piece here, the piece which has been missed by the worker, uh, every grain of canola counts, because it is quite expensive, it's worth quite a bit of money. Okay, so that's that piece there, we do have a small clump over there, and finally the big chunk at the bottom. Uh, and it's probably going to actually produce about a full trailer load, which is good. There we go. I might as well unload. It probably will fit in, but there's no point risking it. Yeah, so the John Deere is still working. We'll hopefully be selling it around the same time. that pretty much empty and time to continue yeah so as the same as before um, the combine which is currently working over there the John Deere if we harvest the entire crop and we sell the whole load then we will potentially make more money uh, with it being a crop such as wheat uh, I don't think it's going to be producing much we might make about 500 pounds more which is still worth it it's definitely worth doing the extra especially as we haven't even paid for the diesel but we have paid for the leasing of the machinery. Um, 
time, so I can't really see any reason why you wouldn't want to harvest the full field. It always seems worth it. Yeah, so next time this is going to be the oat field. We're going to have a full field of oats for the horses, which are actually doing very well. I forgot to show you. Uh, if we go onto the animal page, you can see that Cowboy, for example, is currently worth 16155 The prices do vary, but very soon they're going to be worth an absolute fortune. So I've seen a few comments saying, I can't believe this, you're on episode 26 it was, and this is 27, and you only have £18,000, what's going on? But very soon it is going to be 270000 Actually, I do need to buy some more horses so they're being worked on um, while these ones are getting close to completion. Horses really do seem to be a good thing to do. They bring in absolutely no money at all until the end. Similar to pigs, I suppose. In the game, you have to breed the pigs to sell. Whereas the, the cows will produce their milk, the chickens will produce their eggs, and the sheep produce wool. Okay, right, uh, that's good. Let's go over here and we'll unload. And there's the John Deere Combine. Busy working away. Oh, don't hit. Good. Um... Yeah, I have no idea how full that trailer actually is. Yeah, it's getting close to full. I really hope there is a good price. Canola. Um, let's just take a look here. That's oats. Uh, yes, 1763. It's not incredible, but it's pretty good. Train station mill, just around the corner. Uh, we'll sort out the John Deere first, since that is almost full. The beacon is going. And there we go, it is full. Uh, I wonder if that's going to continue if I keep the tractor here, it might not do. It did continue in 17, but in 19, well it certainly didn't used to, unless that issue has been patched. Oh it does, good. That's an improvement. So over to the train station mill, and we'll see if we can make a small fortune here. Probably around £15,000. But that is still way better than what we've had in the past. 15000 is not a bad price. Let's see what we can really get. I'm really hopeful for this though. If it's over fifteen, even better. 29000 31 Looking good. 16484 That is very good. Uh, so, yes, we have another tractor to go and get. I probably should actually uh, go and get that first. The final part of the field. Looking good. Uh, so that trailer is actually full, annoyingly. So there is going to be a tiny bit more to get off the field. The slightest bit. How annoying. The sell point is quite a long way from the field, but I'm still going to sell it all, especially after what I've said. It's still worth it, especially as we're not paying for the diesel, I don't think. Um, but even so, the uh, the price of the crop is definitely going to outweigh the expense of the diesel. So that is all fine, except I have lost the sell points. It's somewhere over here. Yeah, it's over here. Um, so I'm expecting a bit of money. Like I say, it could only be about £500. Considering... This isn't even all the crop. Right, here we go. We may make nothing from this piece. Still nothing. Absolutely nothing, because only 95% has been transported. which really does leave the slightest amount for us to actually keep for ourselves. It might not even be £500. It has still missed a few pieces, so as the combine is here, we might as well just finish the job properly. Uh, that's running good. Let's start it up. The header. And complete every piece of it. It really does fire out, doesn't it? Projectile straw. Whew. <laughs> Loads of power. Okay, so yep, yeah, final piece. 
and then we have about 2,000 litres to take over to the sell point which is, yeah, that's going to leave us with about £100 and even that could be uh, pushing it hasn't really seemed like a very good job to be doing let's go here goes then, this time it's going to take literally two seconds to unload we have hardly anything in here and how much of that do we get? we get whoa 964 kind of impressive uh, so yeah we need to complete the job just on here 2411 and we finish off today with 37923 which I think is actually pretty good considering how much or how little we've made in previous episodes anyway thank you so much for watching Hopefully I'll be back tomorrow, and I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.